Hello, hello, it is Shanique here from Shanique Stewart, where you'll find everything business, startup and social media marketing, and a little bit of cleaning and lifestyle. So if you're about building up your business, getting motivation, and asking me questions, then you should definitely subscribe. Today's video is gonna be about how I made this thumbnail, which is my last YouTube video. Check it out if you haven't already. And I made this within five minutes. I've got so many questions on it. So I'm going to let you guys know how I made this thumbnail. So first off, my biggest suggestion is to get Canva Pro. You do have to get Canva Pro to get some of the features that I use. My second tip is when you create thumbnails, do not delete them and erase them. I actually keep majority of my thumbnails made so that when I'm making a new thumbnail, and I keep the same brand, I keep the same colors so that when my followers know me, they know me. So that's also gonna help you with your time. What I first did initially is I just Googled, I Googled, I searched YouTube thumbnails. I kind of find one that I liked and I wanted to follow. Canva does a good, really good job with having great templates so you can literally click something and just work with it. And that's why I did. So I just clicked on and took out what I did not need. Change the background to green, and then had a picture. Easily could click a background. I think I put black background. Yeah, and I just chose this. I've made a border. my size making it sure it's a little bit of border and then here positioning move it to the back 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 so that it's a border using this i just obviously i have my own picture um the key is to have the best quality pictures um using your phone portrait mode instead of using a screenshot from your actual video um works a lot best so i just use Got a picture, um, add a picture, remove the background. Again, it, this is a premium feature that Canva offers. As it load, this is just awesome. And then edit the picture again. Going to gl glow. Clicking the settings, turning the glow white, make it a more transparent, and then less actual glow. So it's more of a, or blur, more of an actual outline. And you could just move it back and forth to figure out what you want, change any color. So now. Move it over. Change. Oh, Okay, change color. It's probably a different font, but you guys get the gist. You could definitely change your felt, whichever color you like. Just make sure. Um, if you notice, I just keep my brand colors. Depending on your niche, that would make sense to you. Um, or you just probably going to find out what's really trending in your, in your niche to make sense sense search um, um for your elements to find money yeah money all right so let's gonna delete this delete this this over i made it bigger all right and then the money's here and position back. Um, 
that is pro, you have the option to do all this. I probably just would have moved this a little bit more down. And only because, yeah, it's kind of weird to have you floating here. So I just put that down here. I can always move over the font. Whatever you don't want to move, just lock it in place. Edit the effects here. So there is a bit of a glow shadow effect on each of these to make them pop up. Yeah, so it stands out a bit more. Still within a couple of minutes, I did edit and really edit all the ums and stuff. So, but definitely all in all, this took under five minutes. I use this for all my businesses. It's super easy, super beginner friendly. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe.